currently is I'm making like a table. I did one of these in A level actually, um, and I was just looking back from my old revision notes, and I remember this being a really helpful way of sort of condensing all of your notes into sort of revision form. So what I've done is I've done the theme on this side, so this is for Lady Susan, so you've got like class and society, patriarchy, gender, uh, didactism, appearances and maternity. Um, is like the key things. I am going to add more, but it's just the ones that came into my head. And I'm slowly adding quotes, context, and then like explanation for like my approach to the point. Um, and that's sort of what is going to bulk out the majority of my essay is this column. Um, but these two are important for just sort of supporting your argument. Um, and I'm just going through my lecture notes now and sort of adding um, the key bits of information to each column. So then I can basically sit down and just like learn this um, instead of just keep rewriting out because I think it'd be much more effective to sit down and just explain each point um sort of like active learning um, my toilet delivery has just come um so I'm just gonna go down and get it um, I'm really excited I'm gonna try the leggings on and show you guys and sort of we can all have a, a little gander I'm actually so excited like genuinely so buzzing <laughs> this order um I ordered the black leggings and I literally have had a struggle with black legs my whole life. Like they never fit me because I've got a small waist and sort of larger legs, big booty. Um, it's always been a struggle to sort of like find leggings that don't like sort of have a gap at the back or that are too baggy around certain areas. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna go get it and then I'll try it on and we can all have a look because I'm rather excited. So yeah, as you can see, they are like very, very flattering. Um, on the waist and also like they just give you this sort of wait you can't really see because my black my black um, thing in the background but they give you like a very sort of like hourglass um, figure they make the booty the booty look good as well which is obviously always a plus um, and I'm really pleased though I think she's done a sick job um, they're really flattering they are in my opinion squat proof um, I have actually tested that I've already done a workout in them and you see no sweat there's not like literally they are the most comfortable sweat free squat proof sustainable <laughs> leggings um and i think she's done a brilliant job and they're affordable as well they're, they're only 40 pound so i was very pleased um so yeah well done grace i absolutely adore And basically, I've run out of food, so I just went to Tesco and purchased some goodies because <laughs> I like my food. So first of all, I got stuff for a stir fry. This was all in like a meal deal. So I got some high protein noodles, the pepper stir fry mix, and two teriyaki sauces. Um, I also got some spinach, big bag spinach, um, thin tomato, um, celery and then I went to Iceland um, I actually bought the majority of stuff from Iceland and I got some king corns for £5 that's to go in stir fry I got a pizza for £1 I got a smoothie um, a smoothie like frozen pack smoothie uh, thing milk eggs codfish cakes uh, they have like lunches and dinners and things extra mature cheddar cheese because it's the only kind of cheese you should be getting extra mature anyone who gets mild I just really don't understand you and I got corny yogurt as a treat because this is all too healthy for my liking. <laughs> Sarah's good. got an exam this morning. How are you feeling, mate? <laughs> you nervous? Yeah. Going town later. Why don't you join me? We're going shopping for the yeah. first time this term, which is just crazy. Because we haven't really done anything all year. No. And this term we've actually worked, so. Yeah. Exciting for it to be normal we've again. Li we've lived the <laughs> yeah, Good luck, mate. Thank you. And then next time in the vlog, the exam will be finished. Yeah, I'll let you know how badly it went. <laughs> it went <good> badly. <laughs> Sarah, you're such a catastrophizer, right? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, I can't believe it. Sarah's only gone and won a bloody competition, haven't you? Yeah. What, you yeah, you I just said enter draw. Won a free ice cream. Free ice cream. Yeah, and I think I get a second one free as well. Oh my god. So For a friend. I, mean. I wonder how many people were in that competition. God, which friend am I going to choose? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are now going shopping. We just went for a subway and 
had meatball marinara. Mm -mm -mm. So we're now going vintage clothes shopping. Oh, edgy. Okay, so we're home. Um, we basically just went shopping and ended up buying Sarah all of her birthday stuff, even though her birthday was last month. But, I mean, better late than never. never. So we've wrapped it all up in this little bumblebee bag. Got a cake and I've done the, oh, this is gonna go badly. I did a candle, the candle, so it's in the shape of an S. Fred's gonna take my fake eyelashes off because apparently it's satisfying. Go on then, go, go. Oh, I actually look better without them. I think you do. <laughs> you do look a lot better. Do me. I? Oh, that's pretty horrible. No, do you actually think they do? Do you think no, they just they're a bit they're just a bit large today? To be honest, do I look better now they're off? Well, I, think, I always think you look better. No, but do they look, do I, just be honest? Do I look better with them off? Well, no, because your makeup was made with these in mind, so you've got like weird gaps in your eyes now. But if I didn't have the gaps, would it look better? I don't know. It's just different. It's not necessarily better. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, 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 they're, just, they're just a bit large today, weren't they? Oh. A bit long. Yeah, I wasn't that keen either, to be fair. What? Are you okay? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Sarah. Happy birthday to you. Oh shit, smoke alarm. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was his wrapping. You should have seen him trying to wrap it. Oh, guys. So yeah. How do you feel about today? I'm really happy. I'm really happy. And apparently, <laughs> life's just good sometimes. You're happy. I'm feeling happy, man. Wait, give us give us a haul of what you got then. Yeah, well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Here it's we in go. different parts of my room because I've just spread it out because I've been really excited. <laughs> So this, passion is definitely my favourite. Passion. Ooh, passion. Passion. I feel like this will be really nice. And the fire one, sunset eyes. It is pretty to be fair. It's like a pressed glitter palette. I'm actually, look at that one. That one shines green. It's quite cool. Anyway. Do you get, there, it's mine. Yeah, so it's mine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bit excited. Okay, so basically I'm into, I'm into my uh, spiritual meanings at the moment. And her rocks. Yes. So, so I, I fully believe in, in some of them, others not, and I'm warming to Amethyst. And Ella, <laughs> Ella bought me this. Wait. So it's a little... Oh, oh. oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, it's really precious to me. Really? No, actually it actually is. Okay, right. <laughs> no, it actually is though. No, actually though. Not even joking though. Let's try again. <laughs> This is my amethyst necklace she bought me, and apparently amethysts <laughs> protect the drunk. So that's good for you. Fully needed. Yeah, it's absolutely needed. You need to be protected. Oh no, Ella also got me these rose quartz earrings, which are very cute. They mean healing, apparently. <sighs> yeah, um, which I do need after this exam. True. Fred got me this. Oh. She's my favourite poet, and I have the milk and honey. So this is like the one after it, which is really cute. Um, yes, we love Ruthie Core. Cool. And Ella is very aware that I'm not very good at doing eyes with my current brushes because they're really shit and I have to always use hers. So she brought me these really cute ones. We've got some good ones. They're really, really happy. Yes. So now we're going to have a fajita night with Sarah's badminton friends. And we're going to get a little bit drunk and do I just think as well, now that we're not first year students anymore, we might as well go a bit extra. <laughs> <laughs> You feelings, don't even know. literally feelings you don't about. Know. This is literally feelings about Love Island tonight. She literally forgot. I'm like, oh shit! Oh my fuck! I'm so oh my fucking god! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! 
So I fully was just cooking for everyone and uh, Alice has taken over. <laughs> It's a bit of a head you've got there, Sarah. We love a bit of head. Sarah! <laughs> carnage, mate. Pure carnage. That's a pure noise, isn't it? The energy is slowly released. Hey guys, so it's about midnight now, and to be honest, I am about ready to go to sleep. But if you like this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to get a notification every time I upload a new video. If you want to follow my socials, my at is at Ellen Horton. I post regularly on Instagram and that's where all the newest updates and questions for Q&As are. So if you want to follow me there, then please do. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.